Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you can see, I have the Baby B Luna cram. This has been a flood victim. We've had rain for like two weeks straight and then it stopped for like a week or two. And now I think we're forecast for another week or so of rain. So it's a bit sucky, but it is what it is. <laughs> So here's the Luna in the light. You can see there is quite a bit of markings, although I'm hoping I go through the washing machine, we'll get most of this out, but I'm gonna scrub it by hand as well. This is my main concern, is the harness. So I believe that um, this has been, they've tried to wash this and it didn't come out. Um, I clove oiled it last night, just to like kill any of the mold and stuff that's on there but i think i'm gonna have to bleach this gosh i hate that so much all right i'm gonna start by pulling it all apart if you don't have this damage on your stroller pram whatever then you just um i'll show you how to take all of the fabrics off but i'm also obviously gonna try and remove that if i can see the zipper across the back i'm do that I'm not gonna show you everything twice. Two snaps. One, oh, okay. One, two snaps, and then we've got two snaps underneath as well. We've got two snaps up here. And that's all undone. I'm gonna need a screwdriver with a Phillips head. I'm gonna unscrew this I'm going to lift this rod up and slide that hood off. So we're going to remove the belly bars. So there's two buttons on the outside like that. Oops. One, two. I don't know how I feel about those, but all right. They're kind of difficult to get to. Oh my goodness. Um, then I'm gonna unsnap. There's another two snaps here, so one on each side. All right, get the screwdriver back out. There's a screw here and a screw here. So we're just gonna unscrew these. Now our seat fabric will come up from here. Um, so we've taken out the hood rod part. So just having a look, I've sat the seats, pushed them forward, and we've got some straps. One, two, three, four. Again, a screw on each of them. So there's four screws there. Undo those. All right, so they are all unattached now. Now I'm going to undo the velcro here and take the backboards out. Okay that doesn't want to be undone by one hand. Wait a minute. Just gonna pull these out. I'll be able to thread them back through. They shouldn't be too much of a pain. They're gonna come out in the wash anyways. So I wanna wash everything because this pram has been in the floods. So I just wanna show you under the bottom, we've got these two straps that need to be undone. So to undo them, so we wanna slide this piece across in the middle. Oh, it's not working. Come on. There we go. And that will loosen it a little bit. 
And then basically we want to just thread this through and it will undo. It's like a weird self-tightening buckle. All right, four of those. Two on this side, two on this side. I think I just figured out the trick for these. I've done these so many times. I think you like tilt this forward like this and then it should ease off no okay yeah it does does that make sense you gotta like tilt this that way like that way while we're down here let's just unsnap this oh never mind it's already unsnapped there was velcro on it there is more velcro At the bottom, we have a snap, another snap, and then that will come through. What have we got over here? Another Velcro. And then on the side, we've got a snap. There's actually a second snap at the back, just here where my thumb is. Ten. This is really hard. I'm trying to balance this pram. I guess I don't need to hold it up anymore. Then at the back, here, another snap. So just do everything. It's pretty much just all snaps all the way around. Oh, come on. <laughs> A snap. Velcro. Snap. Snap. All right, we're going back the other way. <laughs> What have we got? All right, and there's our basket. That can go in the wash. Oh, I really want to get this part off. So that's going to be a screw. What else? Oh, it's quite a few screws. Oh, it's worth it. All right, get the screwdriver out again. So. Again, up to you if you want to wash this part. You can see this is quite dirty. So, what I want to do is screw one here. And then on the inside, we've got one, two, three, four. So, there's five screws in total. Before I take that bottom bit off, I think it's probably that bit there it's going to be a little bit easier to do the seat so let's take the seat off so we've just done underneath these buckles here and i'm going to hopefully lift that over yep cool done on both sides of course so all i'm doing is pulling the seat up just lift this over the uh I don't know what it's called, but they adjust the leg rest up and down. And then that's the little leg rest. And this should lift up. There shouldn't be anything else attached. There we go. That is a huge seat fabric. Ew, look at all the stuff coming out of it. <gasps> Ew, look at all this. Yuck, I can't wait to wash this. This might go in the bath for a soak before it has a wash, I think. If you were wondering what angle I filmed that from, the frame is now upside down with the handle on the floor and the front of the pram on the floor. Here is the little foot thing that I took off, would it like the basket thing? So that's definitely worth it to clean it, especially that side. And then of course there's this side that definitely needs a brush to scrub in there and get all that out. Like a normal washing machine is not going to do that. Ew, look at that. So like I said 20 times before, this pram was in the floods. But a lot of people have really been flooded. Um, and she was giving this pram away um, 
it was in a pretty tragic state. Um, she tried to clean it and couldn't get it cleaned, but I felt bad, so I gave her money. I was, you know, she didn't expect that, and she was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, that's really nice. But I have a thing where I just can't take things for free unless it's, like, literally on the side of the road. Then, like, do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just have this thing where I don't like to, like, take it on, like, Marketplace or Facebook if it's... Because it's a baby item. Someone could use it. However, you have to kind of know what you're doing to clean this back to its right state. And I don't even know if I'm going to get it back to its right state. So I'm really hoping I do. But if I do, I'll love to make some pram liners for it. These were from those weird strap things that connected from the seats to the back of the straps. These ones are from the hood. One's missing. And these ones are from that weird front bit that I just took off. And these ones are for the outside of that. The rest of these ones are from the inside of the front weird thing that I just took off. Alrighty, so this is what I'm going to use. I always have a bit of a concoction. I always use whatever I've got. This is normal washing, like washing um, liquid that you put in the washing machine. This is some disinfectant. This is a soaker and this is a spray soaker, a pre-wash stain remover. I also have some sard soap because this works really well and then some scrubbing brushes, whatever you've got laying around. If you have to use an old toothbrush, although that's going to take a long time. So I've got the all of the stuff in the bath and I'm just going to run the bath. Where's the plug? Mm can't find it wait a minute I found the plug um yeah all right oh I forgot to take the bum boards out dang it all right guys don't be me and remember to take the bum boards out <laughs> So what I'm going to do is fill the bath up and just essentially hand wash this stuff. If yours is not in this condition and just needs to have, you know, you want to freshen it up or, you know, a little bit of ice cream got in it um, the day before and, you know, it hasn't set in there for three weeks or whatever, then just chuck it through the wash because I'm going to hand clean it to get all of these bits off and then I'm also going to throw it in the wash afterwards. So my tactic is do whatever I need to do to get this thing clean. Um, I started off scrubbing some paint, so there's like a little bit of blue paint. Um, up here I thought that I would work on something easy because this is going to be super duper hard. Um, but, oh that's gone silver from being scrubbed. That means that one's going to go silver too. What? Are they two different colours? <laughs> oh well, if that happens, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's silver and I'm pretty sure that's gold. Oh wow, so it's just like a like a cheap coating over the top of it. Fair enough. Um, I've got some gumption to use on the blue, but I think the blue is pretty much gone. There's like three little speckles of it, so that came off pretty easy. Um, for um, cleaning, I'm going to make sure I go up all the edges, all in here, in the creases, and make sure I run a brush to get all the crumbs out of there. Um, if you are not putting yours in the bath, 
take it outside, flip it in the wrong way, push, basically push this seat outwards like that, and then run a, a brush through it. Even if it's dry, that's totally fine. It will get all the crumbs out of here, and then it will, um, there won't be any in the wash if you crumble them out. So it'll wash a little bit better instead of spreading the crumbs around. Yeah, so you can see the color of the water, how much is coming out of this already. And this has not even been in there that long, maybe 10, 20 minutes. So like I said, I might use a little bit of gumption. So if you don't know what gumption is, it is this stuff. Um, it's really good stuff. It's like a thick um, paste and it just scrubs everything. So I'm going to even try a little bit of gumption on the straps. But I also have um, this, which is upholstery trim cleaner which is from like detailing back in the day i have no idea what brand this is um but i know that this is industrial strength product so i'm going to use that as well so i'm really sorry i don't know what this is but that's what i'm going to use um hopefully you don't have the same problem as me but i will try the gumption first none of this works my last idea is to get the steam cleaner out and give the straps a go Another thing I probably need to mention is make sure that you're in a well ventilated room when you do this. I have a fan on my window right here. Um, and once you kind of work through it, so I feel like starting on that seat kind of got into the fibers like I scratched up, you know, loosened them up. So hopefully that it can soak a little bit more. But now I've just run over everything else. So I've um, had a quick run over of this. Um, also, it's so hard to see when things are wet because they just look clean. If you hang it out of the water for a bit and just kind of let it dry off, and then I saw that there was some more um, yuckiness. Um, so that's what I mean by pushing it out. Give it a coat with water and a scrub. And do that all the way along. But once I'm happy with these pieces, then I'm gonna put these in the wash in the washing machine um, for just a gentle wash. If you don't want to track water through your house, get a bucket, put it in the bucket, carry the bucket through the house. Don't forget to unzip the hoods. Because this fabric is not gonna really appreciate being scrubbed with a brush, so I'm just gonna use my hands and just like, you know, wash it over as my hand is like a cloth, um, at least that way. What's that? I don't know what it is, but it's gross. Um, at least that way it like creates a bit of friction. It's a delicate wash. Don't put too many items in the wash at the same time. Um, they don't like it and they will break or they will rub on the side of the washing machine and cause damage. Can we just take a moment to look at that water? Like I know it has black in it, so it's making it darker, but. is foul. <laughs> Ew. just quickly wipe the frame down. I'm just using a cloth and some disinfectant. <laughs> Alrighty, so my load of washing is done and this weird bit from the front is out. It looks pretty cool clean so i'm gonna put this back on to dry and i'm gonna put the hoods back on so i'm just gonna oops i'm just gonna sit the hood rods in there i'm not gonna screw them in the fabric is still soaking i'm gonna have to look at other products so that i can work out what i'm gonna do with that <laughs> Alright, 
so when we're putting this back together don't make the mistake that I just did which is putting this on this way so it actually needs to fold under it took me a little while to figure that out I was like why is this not working it's not right see how that folds in like that instead of like that and then that will make this shorter which will make it fit and then it will just be a happier scenario because I was wondering why there was two holes over here it's because it folds over and there was a screw that was on but like a different side these are all inside screws where's the outside screw I can't figure it out I thought there was one screw that was different or is it maybe like the one down here I can't remember um, one more thing to add is in the bath two of these came off and I think that they were from here because you can see like that indent that it was like pushed in there so much and so I ended up with two more of those <clears throat> so I'm guessing the two that didn't have them belongs together so they all have a little washer thing on them all right so let's try again this way remember these screws were on the inside the rest of them are underneath basket is going to go the way you can see the baby bee logo is going to go if you're standing in front of the pram to the right hand side the mesh is going to go at the back and this part at the front so the label will actually when you're standing behind the pram you'll be able to read it this for a little bit longer the straps are still honestly I, I don't know if they're a little bit better or not but um I feel like these bottom ones are it's just some are worse than others um the top ones were the main ones that were dirty some of them look all right they've been scrubbed and they're not as dark but anyways I've pulled the big guns out I went and got the steam cleaner I'm not that hopeful, honestly. I'm gonna use the upholstery trim cleaner and gonna like spray a bit of that on and put some of that on and then steam it and scrub it with the brush. See how that goes. If not, I'll be back because I'm going to get this clean. I, I'm gonna work something out. I don't know what, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Alrighty, I have resulted in bicarb soda or baking soda with white vinegar in a paste. Um, mix it around and I've just, this is probably the thinner stuff, in a paste. Um, and then I have placed it onto the straps. I don't know if it can damage the uh, white the black but I I don't know I really hope not because there's like patches of it all over the black I also for this part here but on the back for this exact strap I got some bleach and a toothpaste and kind of just like scrubbed it honestly I'm not sure if it made a difference but I feel like there's a lot of black marks here and then it kind of disappears whereas these were very similar, so I'm really wondering if it did do something, and if so, I'm going to have to sit here with a toothbrush 
and bleach and do that. So right now I'm waiting for this to dry. 15 minutes it says, put it on there, have it dry. And then it says, um, scrub it a little bit with a toothbrush. Uh, and then I might let it sit again for another 15 minutes or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so determined to get this looking good. I, I'm, yeah, it's not an option. Even if I have to pull the harness out and sew in a new harness, which I really don't want to do, but if I have to do that, then it is what it is. <laughs> Alrighty. It's the next day. This is as far as I've gotten. I sat and scrubbed them for a while, but I just gave up. So you can see we've still got some marks, but they're really good compared to what they were. I've got vinegar and bicarb that I've just shoved over, no water. Hopefully it doesn't cause the black to turn white. I don't know. I'm going to leave this for a few hours and come back to it. <laughs> Alrighty, it is the next day, so that has been sitting in there for, oh, I don't know, maybe like 12 plus hours. Um, I don't think that the vinegar and bicarb has done too much to help get it out. So I'm going to have to sit with my concoction in a container up there, and then I get this container and I put bicarb and vinegar in it and then I get my toothbrush and gloves and I'm just gonna have to keep scrubbing it so to keep the bleach off the black I had actually filled the bath with water so that um, any like splatters of bleach yes it will go on there or it will be submerged in the water but it won't directly sit on the black fabric and die into it I did accidentally get some on these pants last time so I decided to wear these pants again so that you know if I bleach them a bit more that it's the same pants and not two different pairs of pants that I've got bleach on okay I've been scrubbing for approximately two hours now I'm stopping for lunch um, this is the state that the straps are in so what pretty we're going pretty well but we've still got some marks here getting there and that's my uh, concoction bleach and then the vinegar and um bicarb soda so let's go have lunch i'm pretty sure we're all done it is good enough and the washing machine on a gentle cycle and just keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn the fabric Alrighty, so i put it on a delicate wash and it seems to have washed actually like 20 times better than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to grab it out and go to the pram frame. Alrighty, because it's a few days later, these are already dry. I can see some marks just here. So I'm going to spot clean them with a cloth. But first I'm going to take the hoods off and then put this on. So what I've done here is I've sat the fabrics on top. I have slipped the foot rest pieces on, um, ensuring that these little, whatever these are, are um, out so I can get to them. I've lined up all of the holes in the fabric. One, two, three, sorry. And then this lines up here, that lines up in the middle. I've got two snaps done here and two snaps done over there. So that's all I've done. Now I'm going to do the bottom. Remember these weird little straps that we unstrapped? I'm going to re-strap them up. All right, I'm gonna find these two sets of straps. Go around the bar, one here. Well, it's going to be a little bit tricky in the middle because we've got to make sure we've got the right ones. Before I continue any further, I'm going to put the bum boards back in. I've just sorted these little straps. So there's two here 
two here, two here, and two here, and I've sorted out where they should go. So I've made a rookie mistake. Don't put this over the little rest part until the bum board is in because it won't want to go in. Um, but it will go in if it's not over this little thing. So you're going to take it off and then put it back on. There we go. And now I've got to do that to the other side as well. Slide the bum board in. Put the Velcro back over. And then we're going to put this back on. Bit of a tight fit. There we go. So the bum board's a little bit tricky. Alright, so now we're going to do these straps up. So divide them to have these two here. So we've got four straps. Make sure they go around the bar, if that makes sense. And we're just going to tighten them up like a buckle. For the second one down, this is a little bit confusing, but you can see that this is a little bit, um, uh, what is this, creased already? And this lines up perfectly to go in between here. So I'm going to put it that back that way. I am not sure. I, I was going to put it below it, but it just looks funny and it has that crease in it. So I'm going to put it this way. point it is able to dry and there is enough so that I am not going to forget to put anything back together so I'm going to let it dry. Alrighty it is a few days later the seats are dry I just need to do a bit of a spot clean like over here I don't know what's going on same with here I thought it would have uh, come up a little bit better I mean that's not terribly bad it just needs a bit of a scrub uh, like a wipe over I think but the rest of it, like, look at that. Look at that. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was skeptical. I did not think that I was going to be able to do that. But it did take me approximately, I don't know, like six to eight hours of scrubbing. But we got there. That is the key thing. Over here on the tether, it did have a safety strap that I forgot to bleach. So this one. But I just unpicked the thread and removed that. And then I wiped this down with some disinfectant um, and like a, I don't know, spray. Anti, I don't know, what's it called? Just a spray. Bath and shower cleaner. This is what I used. <laughs> Put these straps back in. So they were the ones that have the screws in the ends and they thread through the backs. We also need to put the backboards in, so they slide in the back. So they're the backboards. They um, angle down, so you can see that they get narrower at the bottom. So I'm going to assume usually this means the narrow part is the bum board. Sorry, closest to the bum board. So I've just lifted the flap out of the way. I'm going to lift this up and do the Velcro and just slide that in. Remember the narrow part I'm facing downways or pushing in first. Seal the Velcro. So we need these four screws and these two straps and a screwdriver. I don't think they have like a, an up or a down way. I'm gonna do this way with this uh, button at the top and this, like a rivet, it's like a pot rivet. So it's flat at the top all the way through. Oopsies. And make sure it's not twisted. Alright. And there's just a screw hole here. So we're going to put that one on there. And then there's obviously going to be the same on this side in here. Then here and here. So put the screws back on to those. 
It might be a little bit easier if you thread the screws on kind of like what I've done here. Thread them onto the fabric first and then you can just screw that in to the, to the metal. I tried to hold this strap kind of facing down so that um, it didn't end up tightening and sitting at the top or something. So I feel like that is something useful to know. So now we're going to put the hoods on. I've already threaded mine through the hood rod when I dried it. If not, thread it through the hood rod. It doesn't really matter which hood rod goes on what. Poke the hood rod into the hood rod clamps. We're going to zip the zipper on studs on here actually come down and around and snap on like this place the hood rods into the hood clamps and then we're gonna zip the back up there we go gonna give it a spot clean again so the very last thing we have to do is put these little screws into the hood rods I am honestly really happy with the results. This is how it's come up. It did, like I said, take quite a few hours of scrubbing those harnesses. If you just wanted to put it in because it got some ice cream or something on it, then it's definitely a pretty easy pram to wash. It wasn't hard at all. I liked that I could take the fabric off and put it in the wash, like in the bath and soak it. And also you can go in the machine. So it fit in my washing machine. I do have a large washing machine though. It's nice that the hoods can come off very easily to be washed or whatnot. Um, this obviously didn't survive. So this is the silver one and that's the gold one. The gold one is now deteriorated after coming out of the washing machine. However, the rest, I don't think there's any more. Oh yeah, there's some here. That one's fine. That one's fine. The two on the boot covers are fine. Just these two ones. But I'm going to put pram liners there anyway, so I don't think it will be a problem. It's always good to WD-40 the wheels, which I will do when I take it outside. I will have a review on it. So this is the Baby B Luna double. I do lots of pram reviews on my channel. I do uh, how to wash prams on my channel, how to wash car seats or capsules. So if you want to have a look at any of those other videos, check out my playlists. You'll be able to see all the different playlists in there. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. These hoods suck. <laughs> yeah, I put these on the right way, then I took them off and put them on the wrong way. And now I've realized there is a way for them to go. So these snaps must snap on. These are slightly orange because they do not appreciate being soaked. But that's okay, they're fine, they still work. So they snap on there and then it looks so much better up here because I was like, oh, this looks really bad. Like, why is it so like ugly and bunched at the top? Because it wasn't on right. 